All right, this time I'm gonna let you see me while I talk about this. I'm really excited. I've been talking about this, um, thinking about it for a while, and uh, I got my shovel out in the last couple days and got this dug in. And what this represents is a hugel bed. I do have aspen planted on the or buried in the back in the back side of aspen. Excuse me, alder buried in the back um, and down low in the in the tall part there. And then the rest, I just remove the soil from the pathway here and put it there. Um, as you can see, I'm really fortunate. I got really nice black dirt. Um, but an important part of this is the aspect. This is east-west, that's west. And so that's due south right there. Now this garden slopes kind of towards the north. And I've done these other raised beds and I've been making them level, sort of, but it even still slopes a little to the north. And I finally realized if I slope that to the south, this area down here to a little new growing plant is going to be incredibly warm. I'm going to get a lot of gain um, heating the soil, wind protection from the backside, um, just a great aspect. And then, like I knew, this is really wet here, so I knew this was going to happen. And it, of course, it just took a matter of minutes to completely fill with water. So the idea then is during the rains, the rains will drain off the bed this way. The bed's raised, so it will stay dry and won't be soggy, which this is a really wet area. But then those the water will then have to be, go under the bed, so it will be returned to the roots of the plants. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see how it works. Uh, it might suck. I don't know. <laughs> I'll give you updates. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I, I was thinking I'd use the bed uh, maybe with a hoop house this early. It's the first of March or so, second, third, something. Um, and I'd use that and get starts going and then put them out into the outside beds as the weather progressed. But my other thought is maybe to make this a perennial bed. I do have some buckwheat and some vetch seeds so I could get a green mulch going and then a couple fruit trees on the backside and some berries sort of along the top um, and so on and so forth and sort of get this going as a perennial northern border uh, to my garden. So um, we'll see which direction I go, maybe both, I don't know. <laughs> um, pretty exciting. I'm gonna run the camera down the bed, down the, the bed for you so you can get a good look at it. Yeah, there it is. Um, as you can see, water all the way along um, and a really excellent slope facing south. It's already sort of showing some solar uh, gain there compared to these beds that I'm walking past now. Um, I'm just thrilled about this. Here it is looking back. And you can see the difference in aspect um, clearly. That's actually, that's a great illustration shot right there. The aspect of the new bed, obviously, I'm um, going to be picking up a lot more sun than those other ones. And here on the back side, you can see a little bit of the material. Hugel material is exposed. Most of it's buried. Um, so, yeah. Wish me luck.